is going on, gents? It's RPM here. Coming at you with another episode of Hockey Mask Time. Now, my OG subscriber, the Melancholic Tiger, sent me an article the other day. And upon review of that article, that guy was simply looking for a random victim. They were not in a relationship, so that really does not qualify as an HMT. Yes, the female was killed. However, they were not in an actual relationship. However, that article led me to this article. Now, this article was published on the 25th of May. Indian man killed wife using Cobra after failed attempt with Viper, cops say. Let me just go ahead and say this right now. Woo! Talk about creative. An Indian man has been accused of murdering his wife with a highly venomous cobra weeks after failing with a viper. The man, only identified as Suraj, 27, is accused of first planting a Russell's viper in his wife Uthra's room in Asho in March leaving her hospitalized almost two months after a near-fatal bite, police told Angie France Press. When she was discharged to recuperate at her parents' house, he then got a cobra from a local snake handler, throwing it at his 25-year-old wife as she slept. Police official Ashok Kumar told the agency. God damn. <laughs> Suraj stayed in the same room as Uthra as if nothing had happened, police said. With, Su with Suraj, excuse me, acting surprised when, quote unquote, alerted by Uthra's mother's screams as she found the body on May 7th, they took her to the hospital where the doctors said she had died, police said in a statement obtained by AFP. The dead woman's parents became suspicious because Suraj had been present both times and then tried to quickly take possession of all of his wealthy wife's property. They alerted police who discovered he had been in contact with serpent handlers and had also watched snake videos online, AFP says. Suraj was arrested Sunday and confessed during police interviews, according to Malaysia, or why I say Malaysia, Mayalala, eh. Manorama, okay, I guess that's a person's name, whatever. He was motivated by the huge wedding compromising nearly 100 gold coins, a new car, and at least $20,000 in cash, AFP said. Suraj feared that divorcing Uthra would mean giving back all the dowry. That's when he decided to kill her. The police statement said the couple had a one-year-old child. The man accused of selling him at least one of the snakes was also arrested. The report said, wow, wow, wow. Financial gain or the thought of financial loss has motivated Many a women to kill their husband. Talk about the pendulum swinging back. With that said, 
Let's get to the scorecard, shall we? For location. He did this in her parents' house. You know I'm going with a 10 on that one. Method of execution. Wow. Not one, but two different snakes. Oh man, just for that alone. That's the first time I've ever done an HMT involving an animal, much less a snake, much less a Russell's Viper and a Cobra. I'm giving him an outright 20 on that one. Now, psychological impact. If there was, if this went down anywhere else in the world, I would definitely give it a higher score, but I got to go with a five. The only reason being snake bites are very common in India. So I got to give him a five on that one. Now for the brutality factor. You know damn well, getting bit by any venomous snake is not an easy way to go. I mean, hell, the Russell's Viper put her in the hospital for two months. So you know she was suffering from that one. And the Cobra? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gotta go with a 10 on that one. Woo! So, Mr. Suraj, with all of his scores, he would definitely get a 45. Could be higher. That's up to you. But I'm just saying. Ladies, understand something. You want to talk about equality, right? Now, I saw an article the other day that I'm thinking about covering that involves the outbreak, how it's killing more men, but yet women want to sit back and say that they're most affected by it. Fuck out of here. Even when men die, women have to make themselves into victims. But guess what, ladies? Death is the ultimate equalizer. No one escapes. But yeah, mm -hmm. more and more men are starting to put y'all ladies down. Be it from infidelity, financial gain, whatever. More and more men are definitely putting on the mask. And this is happening worldwide. So gentlemen, Wherever you're from, send me those stories. We need to go ahead and get this year's HMT over 200. I know y'all got it in you, so send me those articles. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, ladies, you piss your man off, you're going to get dealt with. It is what it is. Anyway, read the article. Let me know what you think of this very creative execution. And ladies, the power is still metaphorically out. Feminism and all of the little safe spaces that you think you have, they're pretty much right along with it. So yeah, as this guy proved, when you're asleep, you can get got. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out. Murder on my mind, yeah. Losing all my hope, yeah. I'ma do the crime, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill.